When I was a little bit younger, I used to spend countless hours watching other people's lives on Instagram. And it would be like the type of young guys who somehow have got rich when they're like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And I was like 23 wondering, what the hell am I doing wrong? How are these guys that much younger than me living way cooler lives with way more money? And, and I'm like still just sat at home or sat in my apartment in Manchester and it's raining and it's wet and it's not that fun. And this overwhelming sense of jealousy and envy consumed me at points in my life to the point where I didn't want to move out of bed because I just thought, what's the point? Those guys have done it though. They, they are the guys. I am not that guy. And I know that this cripples a lot of people. So I'm going to give you a few solutions to this. Fast forward to today. I'm now, I've become the, the thing I hated. I'm not, I'm just joking. I didn't hate those guys, but I've become the guy that lives in a Sorry, that, that was meant to be a way more aesthetic reveal. That really doesn't look that good. I live in Bangkok now. Um, I live in the place that I wanted to live in. Uh, this is just my Airbnb. I promise I'm getting a cooler view soon. But I'm now one of those guys that people look at with envy. Maybe not at that view. But on my Instagram, you can see me on the beach. You can see me diving into pools. And uh, you know, every day on my story, I'm posting clips of me in nice places. And it's very lifestyle-based and people probably recognize that. And there might be people watching that thinking, damn, like I wish I was doing that. I wish I was doing that right now. Now, there's two reactions that, that come to this. And unfortunately, I was amongst the, the, the worst reaction. And I think that the majority of people come into that. And if you don't, honestly, like you, you're a fucking great person. I just want to say that. If, if you feel the second one that I'm about to say, as opposed to the first thing that we're going to discuss about this, this first reaction, then you're actually a fucking amazing person. So, We'll talk about that in a second. The first reaction and the main one that people get of this overwhelming sense of envy and jealousy, the first reaction to that emotion is, is a low vibrational, non-active state where you don't want to take any action. It's the opposite of motivation. You just want to curl up in a ball and do nothing because you think, what's the point? Like, those are the guys. Like, why, why should I be the one to actually go and do that when those guys are already doing it and they're younger and they're cooler, they're doing it in a better way? And all these like thoughts enter your mind and it, it consumed me. It literally took days off work because I just thought, what's the fucking point? That's reaction number one. And honestly, if, if you do that, like you, you, like me, have a lot of internal work to do and, and really like really try to like bend your mind and, and really change it because like the, there being no point to you actually trying to do what those guys are trying to do is so far out of reality it's it's unbelievable when you develop yourself when you self-improve to the point where you're able to do the things that they are you will no longer care about what they are doing not only will you not care you'll actually be able to derive value and lessons to progress your own self further through observing people like that, okay? So that, that's reaction number one, and, and just know that there's a little bit of a future to that if you can overcome it. We'll talk more about that in a second as well. But reaction number two, and this is like if you're a fantastic person and I love you, like you're probably within this. Reaction number two is actually feeling incredibly motivated and actually using the pain of the, the consumption of jealousy and envy to drive you forward in order to, you know, progress. Which is, like, well done. You don't hate those guys, you don't feel resentment, you just feel responsibility. You just want to progress yourself, and that is amazing. Understand that both of these things, it, it's, it's a choice. Like, People go down one of these two routes. They choose to go down one of these two routes. And eventually I said to myself, like, I'm sick. I'm so sick of the situation that I'm in that I'm just going to observe and learn and try to remove my ego from it as much as possible because that's what it comes down to. It just comes down to a status thing. It's like if a girl, you know, like I even used to think of it this deep. If like my girl looked at me and that guy that I'm watching on Instagram all the time to see, you know, what, how much money he's making and what he's doing and, you know, what cars he drive, she'd probably pick him. And it's like, if, if that's what you tell yourself, like if that's the belief that you have about yourself and you think that there's nothing more to you, then you are absolutely 100% right. Your girl would choose him. You know, talking to my past self. I changed that belief. I started just believing that I, I was the man. 
uh, the, the main way that I changed that belief is I started fucking performing. Like I started taking my vision and, and everything seriously. I started viewing myself as the main character in my own story. I started realizing what I was worth. I started projecting my vision onto my, onto my friends and my family and telling people what I wanted to do. I developed leadership skills and people started to listen to me and ask me questions. And you know, I, I, there was, there's an energy around me. I could feel it where I would in, inspire other people to start to do the same thing. Like it's not just about me getting to the point where, you know, I was doing well in life. It was actually one, one thing that changed my like envy and my jealousy and one thing that gave me a really deep sense of fulfillment was just day to day inspiring the people that I know and love on a, you know, in my surroundings, whether that was in my old job, whether that was my family, my friends, and just seeing other people starting to progress and getting that sense of fulfillment, them coming to me, like, oh my God, you told me to do this, thank you so much. And then asking for more advice. And that just really fucking worked for me. So hopefully I've been able to give you some value on all those things. If that worked well, subscribe. Stop fucking being jealous of guys on the internet and go and get your own bread up, man. Take care.